Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. A lot of people have been asking me about my workout routine, especially one for legs. And while I'm in New York City and while I'm free, I like to train as much as possible with my personal trainer, Steven. I really wanted to share my leg workout routine with you guys. So I was thinking, why don't I bring you guys with to one of my training sessions that's what we're gonna do today uh, i'm gonna head to the studio and we are gonna do uh, a leg workout so you guys can follow along as well let's go So uh, I'm here with Steven uh, from People and this is the studio where I normally train. So today we're going to do uh, a 20 minute leg workout. Yeah, so this workout is something we regularly do. Uh, it's going to sculpt out your thighs. So the purpose of this is to really lengthen the muscles and create all the little definitions that you get through your quads and your adductors, your inner and outer thigh. Um, and it's gonna be really intense. We're gonna start with no equipment, but it's all about form and to really create the, the lengthening toned look, we have to move really slowly and the motions are very strict. And most important, you guys can uh, follow along at home as well. Let's do it. All right, so first exercise is the side leg reach. So we're gonna start in a sit position, both heels are down. You're gonna shift over, lift one leg up right towards your hip and then stretch it out straight. And you wanna get it as high as you can. You're gonna feel it go right to the top of your thigh, right to the inner thigh, bring it back down, do a little sit. And we'll do eight reps of these. So your butt is driving most of the motion but the thigh is activating to stabilize your hip and you're working both sides. And this is a great inner thigh exercise that I typically use to get the length the stretch all the way up that inner thigh. You'll feel the muscles through the quad all the way up through the hip. And you always just go slow. You hold it there, keep your foot perfectly flat towards the floor, bring it back. Four more. And it's okay when you take that leg out to lean your body the opposite direction. Last three. Good, and one really important thing with this is always keep your knees back. That's gonna put the weight into your butt and that's gonna help you stabilize better for when you're doing the leg reach. Let's do one more. This next exercise, I want you to hold it right there. Now you're gonna work in the highest range of motion. You're gonna drop about three, four inches down and then stretch up, three, two, one. Nice and slow, you're using your abs, you're using your butt, you're using your inner and outer thigh, using the hips to drive the motion. And again, it's all about control making sure your form is perfect and keeping the tension on those muscles. Let's do four more. Last three. The last two. This last one, you're gonna only drop it down halfway. Sit back on that opposite side butt, pull your knee forward just three to four inches so you feel everything tight in the top of your thigh and then stretch it back out. Remember, this is mid range of motion. Three, two, and one. And there's a lot of abs involved in this. So as you pull your leg in, you're squeezing your stomach and then you're stretching out through your butt. That opposite side leg should be shaking by now. Let's get five more. This is tough. Try to keep your feet perfectly even. Good. And always lock it out. Get that full stretch through your, through your thigh. Four, pull it in, stop right there. Stretch it out, hold. Three, stop right there and stretch. Two, the last one, squeeze, hold, and rest. Shake it out. Ooh, this is great, you feel this actually in both legs. <laughs> These are intense, and it's all, you know, there's no, there's no equipment, but it's all about, you know, keeping that constant tension. Let's go to the other side. So you start in a, both feet flat, shoulder width, lift that leg up, get as high as you can, open up the hip, stretch, bring it back down nice and slow. So you wanna pull up first, then reach out. Lock your leg out, seven. Come back, hit a small little sit, keeping your knees back, keeping your stomach engaged. Six. And remember what I said before, when your leg goes out so high, it's okay if your body flexes in the opposite direction. There we go. And it's really important if you wanna get really 
deep into the inner thigh. Make sure your foot is perfectly flat. Right there, four, always lock it out. And you're using your opposite side butt to really hold you up and drive the motion. Perfect, three. Last two. Stomach tight, lock the leg out. Nice and slow. Here we go, the last one, hold it right there. You wanna keep that leg as high as you can, drop three to four inches, pause, squeeze up, eight. Down slow, squeeze up, seven. Try to keep your pelvis perfectly neutral. Don't let the left hip open, keep it nice and locked. Five more, and this, these are pure sculpting moves. So we're getting deep into the inner thigh, the adductors, right up into the hip, three more. Three, stomach tight, two, the last one, bring it halfway down, pull that knee right towards your elbow, stop right there and stretch it out. Push it right out to the floor. And remember, with this workout, we're trying to lengthen the muscles, so it's important you really reach that leg out. Lock it out completely. Good, halfway there, got four more. And one really important thing about this is that opposite side leg, keeping the knee back, that way we can put the weight into your butt. Two more. Two, elbows up, tighten your stomach, stretch it out, and rest. Oh, you see guys, even I have been doing this exercise for a while, but I'm like shaking. They, they, nev so they never get easy. Yeah. All right, so for this next exercise, we're gonna do a forward to rear press. So we're gonna take our right leg up, and we're gonna flex our foot completely. So you're gonna drive through your butt and your thigh, you're gonna take it forward, lock it out towards the floor, Pull your knee right towards your waist and then change direction and push it straight back, locking your leg out, squeezing your butt. Three, two, and one. And as you're doing this, your pelvis is tilting forward and back. So right here when the leg's back, you're squeezing through your butt, squeezing through your stomach, and when you come forward, forward, it's all through the top of your thigh. And just make sure you keep that foot flex, nice and slow. That opposite side leg is bent, but the knee is staying back behind the heel. Press halfway there. Good. Lock that leg all the way out every time. That's essential to fully lengthen those muscles. Three more. Good. Last two. And here's another big part. So at the end of this, make sure right here that heel is straight up and down. Don't let it turn in. There we go. It's a lot harder. And then pull it forward. Two more. Come forward and squeeze. The last one, squeeze it back. Now I want you to come all the way forward. So bring that leg forward this way. You're gonna lean back a little bit and you're gonna push that foot up right here. And you're just controlling this motion with these muscles right here, right through the top of the thigh. Holding yourself up from the opposite side butt. Press it out, lock it out and squeeze. Let's do five more. Five. Keeping the foot flexed, the elbows up, the stomach engaged. Three more. Squeeze out, three, two, last one, and rest. Good job. And again, this exercise is working the top of the thigh, but when you cross over, it's angled. You work at the inside, and then right here at 12 o'clock, work the top. And move nice and slow. Don't fully lock the leg out right there. Always keep the tension right here. Let's do four more. Little drop, four. Little drop, inside, three. You got it, last two. This last one, cross it over. I'm gonna ask you to hold your leg up a little bit longer. Take your knee out and let's put it on an outward diagonal. So we're at about one o'clock right here and just push the leg out and then pull right here. So you pull up to your waist and then push it out towards my hand. Good, and you're just working the whole outside top of this thigh. Keeping it tight, keeping your stomach tight, keeping this knee back, all the weights in the heel, right there and reach. Four more, abs engaged, elbows up, three, Good, two, the last one, and rest. 
So with these exercises, you should also be feeling, also be feeling your abs. Yeah, a lot of lower stomach. Everywhere. Abs, lower abs, legs. All right, you ready for the other side? Ready. Let's do it. So we're gonna do the forward to rear press. So let's start with our leg out. And remember, this foot is flexed. You're leaning back, your pelvis is tilted rearwards. Take the knee up, change direction, and lock it out. Remember, heel straight up and down, and then come through. And right here, stomach tightens up, thigh tightens up, change direction. We got six more. Here's a big tip, and you'll see how she does this. When her leg goes forward, her body tilts back. That's gonna work the top of the thigh right here. You see those muscles they have on the runway that come out, that attach all the way up into the hip? That's how you're gonna get it, that lean back. All this has to, to fire up to stabilize, engage, and that's really gonna sculpt out the top of the thighs. Let's do three more. And you're always maintaining a flexed foot. Good, lock it out, hold that squeeze for a second. This is the last one, come forward, finish the exercise off, push back. Bring it forward. Now, let's get our form. Weight in the heel, little lean back, and just pull that leg up a little bit, bend the knee towards my hand, right there, and then push out. So this is important, we're not doing a kick, we're pulling and pushing. So leg locks out, stop right there, and then lengthen. Five more. And as you're doing this, I also want you to engage your lower abs. Four, squeeze, last three, last two, one more, lock it out, squeeze, good, rest a second. All right, now we're gonna do that, that inward drop. So, so left leg, knee comes up. You're gonna point your toe for this one. So this is your starting position. Even with the hip, you're gonna take it over, change the angle, little dip to the inside, take it back out, and then little dip right here at 12 o'clock. Here we go. Eight reps, good. And throughout this entire exercise, you're keeping the top of that thigh engaged. You're keeping the opposite side butt engaged all the way in the heel, slight bend in the knee and the standing leg, and keeping that knee even with your heel. Let's do four more. Four, good. Remember, never let that knee come above your hip. If you do that, it, it tends to get into the hip flexor. The last two. Good. Right there. Now hold it. All you're going to do is take this leg out and you want to push it out this way, right towards my foot and right to the top of your thigh. Squeeze. Still staying engaged on this leg here. A little lift from here. Six more. Good. Six. And you can really see her abs working. So her stomach is also working with the top of that thigh to bring the leg up and then slowly lower it down. Let's get three more. Last two, one more, and rest. Good job. All right, so if you want to make this workout a bit more advanced, we can add equipment. So we're going to work with these uh, light resistance bands. Mm -hmm. And um, the great thing is we did some exercises without equipment. You can do at home and this as well. So. All right, so the, make sure when you put on the ankle band, you step into it. Yes. Okay, so for this first exercise, we're really gonna go for the outer thigh to create that long, lean definition, and we're gonna work the bottom of the butt. So we're gonna take one leg out straight, we're gonna keep that leg locked out, and you're tapping on the big toe. All you're gonna do is very lightly pick that leg up, you're gonna internally rotate from three o'clock to one o'clock, just catch, and once you catch the floor, you drop that back leg back, come up, and then take it back. Here we go, three, two, one. Three o'clock, you stop right there, and then push your butt back. That's gonna lengthen and tighten all the muscles in that standing leg and the outer thigh. The butt dropping back, the pelvis going back, is pulling on the thigh, causing it to engage. 
lengthening the muscle fibers. And this is one of the best ways to get that long lean definition on the outside of the thigh. You've got six more, and you're moving really slowly. Your pelvis is following that foot. Four more. Little drop. Four. Take it back. Good. And an important thing with this exercise is that standing leg, it's always bent, and you gotta make sure the foot is always facing forward. That way you can get that internal rotation of the leg and the hip. Let's get one more. And I want you to hold it right there. So we're gonna maintain this angle. You're gonna take your elbows up, and you're just gonna pull your knee up towards your chest, only five, six, seven inches, keep it small, and then drop down and touch the floor. Three, two, and one. Again, so with the leg that's lifting, we're working the very top of the thigh. And set now, since we're locked in this internal rotation position, we're keeping the outer thigh on the standing leg nice and tight. Right there. You just gotta make sure you don't go too high. Maintain the rotation of both the foot and the pelvis. Let's do four more. And again, use your lower stomach to help you out. Last three. You got it, last two. You should be feeling this in that back butt. Last one, and rest. Good job. We can switch sides. So, take that left leg out, and we're just gonna pick it up. It's at nine o'clock, we're gonna turn it into 11. Sit back just a little bit. And this is important, make sure the knee does not go forward when you sit. Another really crucial part about this entire workout is just moving very slow, always keeping the tension, and feeling the motion as you move through it. Let's get four more. Make sure you turn the hips in, keeping the knee back. That's going to pull on the outer thigh. Pull the stomach in tight. Two more. Good. This last one, you're going to hold it right there. Now, make sure your hips are turned just like that and just pull that knee forward. Just take it up, squeeze, and then let it down. Perfect. This is ideal. So you want to make sure. It's not about how high you bring the leg. It's all about just keeping the tension and keeping it in the right muscle. So you want to lift right through here. Take it down slow. Let's get three more. Three. Up slow, pause, let it down slow, two. Good, let's switch sides. Let's go back to that same position. So let's, it, let's internally rotate. This one's gonna be really difficult. It's a very small range of motion, one of those really small movements. You're gonna sit back. All you're gonna do is do a little leg lift out and then let it down. This looks like nothing, but this is really intense. So you're keeping all the weight on this back butt, you're staying internally rotated, and you're working right through the outer thighs. It's very, very small. You're just working through the resistance and never letting go. Let's do four more. Last three. Two more. And rest. Good job. Let's switch sides, same thing. So turn that foot in. Here we go, and just take it right out towards my hand. You're keeping it very low to the floor. Small, seven. And this is important. Keeping this knee back is, is huge, and it's detrimental for keeping this exercise very effective. Right there, good. Three more. Keep your hips rotated. Two, one more, and rest. Good job. All right. All right, we're gonna save the hardest for last. So, you're gonna take your one leg up, bend the knee 90 degrees, and then we're gonna go after the standing leg. So, if your right leg is up, this left leg here, we're working everything on the inner and outer thigh. You're gonna push from your hip, open that leg up, and then come down very slow. Three, two, and one. Open it up, let it down slow. Try to drive from this hip, open it up, you're going, there you go. It's like it becomes a lot harder, everything starts to shake. But we're trying to get to the inner thigh on this standing leg. Let's get four more. Stomach tight, coming really slow. 
Last three. Last two. The last one, you gotta hold as high as you can. Sit back, push it out, lock your leg out, and then pull it in. Three, two, one. Push it all the way out, squeeze, and you wanna keep that, the knees as wide apart as possible. There you go, right there. And press, lock that leg out, stretch the quads, push through your butt, almost there. It's hard, it's yeah. hard. Keep pushing, three more. Three, keep that knee up. Last two, squeeze through your stomach. One more. And rest, Woo. good. Sometimes I save the hardest for last. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now you, now you know what you're doing. Let's mentally prepare. We got this last two exercises. You're gonna go up to the inner thigh, and then we're gonna work right through the top of the leg on the other exercise. Here we go, and you're driving out this way. Open it up, let it in very slow, and you're always keeping this knee back. Six more. Keep your stomach engaged, and really focus on the coming back, coming in slow. Good, let's get the last three. Last two. Okay, the hard one. Hold it up as high as you can. Keep the heel and knee even like that and just push it straight back. And you're gonna lengthen everything through the top of the thigh. Everything's being driven from the butt. Lock the leg out, lengthen those muscles and just keep push. You wanna make sure you hold and then let it in slow so the thighs are even. Let's get four more. Last three. Two more. It's also a great butt exercise. This is the last one. Hold that knee wide and bring it down slow and rest. Great job. Definitely good workout. See you guys on Twitter. So guys, this was my uh, 20 minute very intense leg workout. And actually I do this workout all the time. Even when I travel, I use uh, the elastic band. I use the people of live streaming as well. And um, if you guys want to try this at home, um, I will link below the product, the elastic band, so you can try it out. And if you do the workout, please don't forget to share that with me at Sanaflut and at Pivolf. And if you like this workout, you can go to pivolf.com and check out the online streaming and you can see more of what me and Sana do on a daily basis. Yeah, so. Good job. That's great. <laughs>